Uh, Conor McGregor revealed that he had purchased himself a personalized yacht. The UFC star shared a video of himself flicking through the brochure. The Prestige 750, customized to his preferences, is worth in the region of $3 million. Listen, just because Conor McGregor is flipping through a brochure, that don't mean Conor McGregor's bought a yacht. Conor McGregor's considering to buy a yacht because he's thinking, you know, he, he can't leave Ireland. He can't leave Ireland. They'll bust, you know, they won't let him leave. He's under investigation. And if Conor McGregor sits, steps one foot in the United States, TSA's going to grab his ass and the NYPD's going to pick him up and he's going to face the fullest extent of the law. That was the terms of Conor McGregor's conditional discharge, that he would not reoffend, that he would not assault anyone else. That was just between him and Khabib. You see? <laughs> and Nevada... The Nevada State Athletic Commission is looking at Conor McGregor like, you just been in here for assaulting someone. Here you are again, see? And the attorney, the Nevada Attorney General has got some, you know, got something to say to Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, he, he's stuck. He's between a rock and a hard place and he's considering to buy a yacht to get the hell out of Dodge. You get so many miles out to sea and the police can't get you, see? <laughs> uh, it's like Conor McGregor's showing his state, you know, he's showing this yacht. He's showing the brochure claiming that he bought a yacht. Conor <laughs> McGregor would be smart as hell to buy a yacht and get the hell out of Dodge. Get the hell out of Dublin. Get offshore somewhere before he gets his ass locked up. The 75-foot boat has four cabins with multiple living spaces on deck. <laughs> uh, the front of the brochure bore the words, Chasing the dream inspires me. A quote from McGregor back in 2013. <laughs> Uh, it also features a quote from Muhammad Ali, which reads, he who, he who is not courageous enough to take risk will accomplish nothing in life. <laughs> uh, McGregor has been training solidly over the past month and is eyeing a fight in the coming months once the New York State Athletic Commission delivers its ruling on the 229 melee. <laughs> so what they said, the New York State Athletic Commission Because NYPD wants to get his ass. See, they didn't say the Nevada State Athletic Commission. They said the New York State Athletic Commission. Conor McGregor is subject to, to immediate, re you know, to be rearrested and face the fullest extent of the law. And Conor McGregor is facing multiple felony charges in New York now. <laughs> Conor McGregor shared a video of himself looking serious, calling himself... Senior. <laughs> All these are just pictures. It's just Conor McGregor looking through a brochure. See? Conor McGregor's a con man. Oh, Conor McGregor's got a whiskey business. No, he don't. <laughs> Conor McGregor does not have a distillery. Conor McGregor does not have a warehouse. <laughs> Those loading trucks, you see, you know, kind of McGregor standing next to. He just put a damn, hung a damn banner on a truck. It was sitting there. <laughs> Just like Conor McGregor put on those aprons and stood in front of those empty barrels like he was distilling whiskey. It's all a scam. It's all a 